Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I know lately I've been doing a lot of videos on makeup, so I just thought that trying, after trying all these different products that I've been using, that I'm gonna actually give you guys a review. This is my mainly everyday face look, so I just, you know, I've used some of the new products that um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about, and I did buy a lot of new products, and I wanna go ahead and let you guys know how they've been working. So to start off with, I have purchased two drugstore foundations, which are these. So this is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, my color is Soft Beige. I wasn't a big fan of it. So I was trying a bunch of new products at the same time and I guess you could say that it just didn't mix. What I actually have on my face right now is this one. And I do like it. What I did do is I changed my primer I used because the first one, it just, it didn't mix right. But I just wanna show you real quick the applicator. So the applicator is like, looks like this. You can just apply it on your face directly if you want. I um, put it on my hand, my little right here, and I get my beauty blender and I just kind of like go like this and then tap it on. I tried the new Invaluable Total Control because, or Total Coverage, I'm sorry, because the first one when they first only had the Invaluable Matte, I used to use that one in high school um, or beginning of college and I just didn't like it. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me, like it was too matte and, and it's very creamy, it's really thick you guys can see when I push it out it's really thick so it does you could build it up to full coverage if you like but one layer I wouldn't say is completely full coverage pretty you know reasonable for the price that it is I think this one's like 12 bucks this one's like four dollars five dollars something like that my go-to mascaras both of these by Maybelline the Colossus volume express well they're both actually called the Veloso the volume express um, this one's just cat eyed and this one is just regular mascara these are my favorite like I don't know how else to say it like these are my go-to like if I need to mix any mascaras it's definitely these two the brush looks like this and then for this one the brush has a thinner applicator which allows you to kind of separate your eyelashes a little bit more so what I do when I don't put falsies on because it doesn't get clumpy which is what I love about this mascara and then I go ahead and use this one and I just pretty much use it to separate it like I could actually do it because I didn't apply it today I just go like this and separate them. as far as the other mascaras I'm talking about the big shot gloss is the reason why I don't like this but for me not for everyone is because it's very thick and the brush, the bristles, aren't very precise. And I would apply it just with this one, like before falsies. I felt like my eyelashes got really clumpy. I do like it for the bottom lashes, but as far as using it for an everyday, I just didn't like it. Like, they didn't give my eyelashes, like, the same length that my Colossus has done. So, I wouldn't really say I'm a big fan of this, but I do use it here and there. I just wanted to try it because I did hear good reviews, reviews about it. So, for my primer, I did... I have actually, I should say, I've been trying to look for a new primer only because when I use it as a Smashbox, um, it's a photo finish hydrating oil free primer. It is my life right now. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I, this is my go-to primer. I don't know what it does, why it's so awesome. I did try the Kat Von D primer and that's what I used with this foundation. It did not work. I used this primer and my face just looks nice and smooth at first I didn't like the foundation and now that I do it's because it was I think the Kat Von D one if you guys have any suggestions on primers please let me know I did try drugstore wise because I did go pick up the wet and wild which I did buy a bunch of other products from it I tried this um, primer base I did not like it at all concealers or contour I did pick up these two wet and wild sticks for contour and concealing I haven't tried this one yet I tried I used it obviously right here on my cheekbones so that one so far no, nothing about to say about it I haven't tried the concealer yet like I said but going along with wet and wild I also seen this illuminating palette I don't know if my lights too bright let me see yeah um, so I went ahead and picked this sorry this is my life. Pick this up so it looks like this. They're really pretty shimmer um, for highlighting. Uh, I don't know if you, could, if you guys can see them. You guys can see obviously the pink one a little bit more. But it was okay. It wasn't anything bad. Probably not something that I'd for sure, you know, buy again. The only thing is that there was a lot of fallout when I first dipped my brush into this. Another Wet n Wild product. This one has to be my favorite. I'd use this almost in all of my makeup looks. It's the Wet n Wild um, 
what's it called it's a 044 rose gold goddess so it's a bronzing and like slash br uh, blush you could see like it just kind of like shimmers and reflects i use this as a blush like i'm wearing it right now only because it gives that like i'm not wearing highlighter it gives like a little you know a little glow to it. going out of order here because i just kind of have everything laid out in front of me to go back to concealers a little bit for my contour, you know, aside from my Wet n Wild one, you know, my go-to is LA Girl. I love this one. I have this one in Almond and I think Espresso. So I put Espresso a little bit it's a little bit darker. When I actually want to contour, then I put a line of Almond just kind of mix in the color. But as far for under eyes, this is my go-to naked. Naked. I don't know. I just love it. Like, I can't even... It's just so creamy and full coverage but to put under your eyes a total full coverage like i don't know it's just it's honestly it's the best it's weightless um and full coverage the next one i did buy that's new is a morphe one i haven't tried oh I, uh, other than me purchasing this i didn't try it before that and what i can say about it is that it's very thick i don't know if you guys can see or towel but it is very thick so when i do put it on i mix these both or another foundation that i have recently picked up um, it is the Locket Foundation by Kat Von D. So it comes in this package and it looks, mine's a little dirty even though I just got it. Um, it looks like this. It's such a cute packaging, honestly. Like, I really like it. Like, this little thing comes off to kind of keep your concealer, I mean, to keep your foundation a little bit more fresh and then it pumps out. And then, what I also like about this is that you can track as you use it, this will go up. And then you can track how much um, foundation you have so you really know when you're going to run out. So when I did use the actual Kat Von D primer with this, I didn't like it. And with the Kat Von D primer. So what I did yesterday actually, I used with my Smashbox and it applied so much better. So next we're going to go ahead and talk about lashes. So these are some of my favorite lashes and it looks like there's a lot here. But these are my favorite which I've talked about. I think in my very first video I told you guys my Violet Voss Limited Edition. Um, they're called Just Slate. Their website has them, and they're just really pretty, um, like, lashes. Two Target brand eyelashes are the Wispies in Black from Ardell. So, between, let's see if I could, oh yeah, there you go. So, between me and my friend, um, when she tried using these, I didn't know that there's, like, there's, like, Wispy Demis, which are shorter in length, and then there's Wispy Black, which are, like, I guess, like, they're full length with their full length falsies that they have for this type of um, wispy look and these honestly when you apply them the band is so thin that it doesn't even look like you were an eyelash my other lashes that I tried out were cocoa lashes and I came in this pack the bottom ones here are queen bee goddess and then Stella so for Stella they look like this they're full they're nice they're Honestly, one of my favorites so far. This is my first time trying any cocoa lashes, and these honestly are my favorite. My Queen Bees, I haven't tried them yet, only because they're really full, and I feel like they're really long, so I want to wear them. Like, you could see the little curlies at the end. I just want to make sure I wear them on a nice makeup day. Let's spray now. This is, I don't know really honestly what happened to this. Like, I don't know how this happened. It was in my drawer. NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is my favorite drugstore one. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to show you guys a bottle because I'm just like, um, you just apply it and just like a regular, you know, setting spray. It does its work. It's matte, so I do like the way it looks. For a MAC, this is a MAC um, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So this one is a mini one. I did get it just because I wanted to try it out at first. So, so far I did like this, so I am going to go purchase a bigger bottle as soon as I either finish this or I need one, depending on which one comes first. Um... Definitely gives you an overall just together look for your makeup. Like it brings everything together. Everything looks like well set and nothing's like too um, too powdery or anything like that. It's And it does have a really, really nice, um, I don't want to say like cucumber set because I don't think that's what it is. But just a fresh set. For eyebrows, as you guys know, I use my dip brow drugstore just to kind of like relate the two in case you guys are looking for like a not so expensive I do want to let you guys know that I do use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow. My Dip Brow has lasted me so far. I've had it for a couple months now and I haven't ran out. For comparisons or one similar for $10 versus I think this is like I think $22 I use the NYX ones as well. Same applicator both have the 
little twisties to get the product out and both have the little spool yet. What I like to do is I always like to find good drugstore products and good high-end products or from Sephora products. That way when I'm not going to go like a full glam like today, I use a Wet n Wild one versus a $50 foundation that I have. Three more. Eyeshadows bronzer and um, just some kind of coconut my favorite ones and my new ones so far because like I said these are all new things that I need to try Morphe 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 I don't know how much money I spend here but these are my two favorite new eyeshadow palette copper spice and bronze mocha I was able to get the copper spice um, the first time they had them out um, but the bronze mocha is one that sold out so I finally went ahead and picked this up and I'll go ahead and show you guys both. They're just really... I use this on one of my looks too for you guys. This one is the Copper Spice. So they have some shimmers, mattes in here. It's a really, really pretty palette, especially for natural looks or if you want to do a more dramatic look and use the shimmers in here. And then for the Bronze Mocha palette, this one looks like this. Now, for those of you who aren't really into makeup, like enough to spend a lot of money on makeup but do want a couple good eyeshadow palettes I do recommend these so with that being said either palette honestly I don't I wouldn't say you need to have both my last eyeshadow palette that's one of my favorites and my new one is the Tarte the Tartist I think it's Tartist Pro palette I don't know if I'm saying that wrong but this one I just think it's really cute like look at the packaging like a gold mirror like look you could see my light what I'm using like I don't know I just really really like this packaging and then inside only gets better with the mirror which I really really like and the colors this baby is just beautiful like I honestly love this palette I did a look on it in my last video so if you guys haven't seen that go ahead and check that out um, one of my favorites like I said these are my top three the last thing to talk about is also Morphe I'm just to go pick up brushes I seen which I knew they had it just never occurred to me to get it they're bronze so it looks like this it's one of my favorite palettes it's actually my favorite like I honestly haven't even been using my other one unless it was for like days like right now like I'm gonna go to school so I'm not gonna use it but just the different tones they have I really like the ones I've been using so far are these two for my face and then when I don't have a full face on like kind of like right now you see more pink because I use my um, wet and wild the rose gold one that I told you guys about I use these two just to have a lighter um, lighter kind of look on my face I just know that when I first started doing makeup I always thought like oh my gosh apply 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 so you can see so you can see and sometimes it would look really harsh and what I've noticed throughout like just using different products and being into this whole makeup thing now is that you don't want to apply with a heavy hand my hand is very like almost like not even holding the brush just very very light and because these bristles are light it makes it easier to blend because it's not as much product being just pushed on your face at and once. then next to get into things for your face um, if people are wondering how to keep your skin a little bit smooth or what they should use or things to help them with at least for me like I told you guys several times um, I have for my dry skin so I am trying to find different products to use to help keep my skin hydrated up this little swirly thing it was only $15 um, a little machine I don't have my batteries in it right now so I show you guys but it had like a five different step um, like these things come off applicators there's a bristle one which is this one to scrub your face there's another one to like buff out your face another one to help like smooth out ble not blemishes I would say but like I would say dry skin areas or something like that to kind of peel it off and I tried it one time it worked really well on me but now I'm using sponge here it just has these bristles that you can rub against your face to help you really like get into your pores and especially right here because I have my nose pierced I take it out or sometimes I don't have to take it out because this is just so so smooth on your face with the product that you use on it that you just motion like circular motion for like two minutes massage your face a little bit and it gets everything out and make sure all your makeup is completely off your face so as a moisturizer in the night, my mom bought me this pure soil with coconut oil, super rich night cream, nourishing and moisturizing, enriched with dead, um, dead sea minerals. So it looks like this. You can pick it up anywhere, honestly. I'm sure they have it at Walmart, Target. Um, and when you open it, it looks like this. It's really creamy, white. It smells really good. Um, coconut oil is always good for your skin, also along with your hair. So I know that um, so far this has, when I just apply it after the shower, after I wash my face in the shower, it gives my face a really nice, 
overall moisturized, not oily, but filled, healthy, rich feeling. And I really just do enjoy this and I recommend you guys picking up anything honestly with coconut oil um, to help you guys if you guys do have dry skin. that, this is one of my favorite products right now. I did want to talk to you guys about my last video. I know it was a little bit blurry for those of you who watched it or those of you who are new, just that way you guys know. I was trying to use my camera. I have like a Canon camera um, that I bought my mom for her birthday or something like that. And I tried using it for the first time because I wanted to be able to zoom in on my makeup. And I just, I was having a hard time with the technology. I couldn't get the video onto my iPad, which is what I normally like cut and do all my cropping and video recording. Um, and I tried combining the two, it just took me forever. Like honestly, I was probably working on it for two weeks because I just couldn't figure out all the new settings and like how to do this and how to do that. So I do apologize for the blurriness and like the low quality of the video. Like some parts came out like what I wanted, which was zoomed up and the other ones were kind of like a little bit blurred because I need to figure out if my camera has autofocus or not, which I think it does. I just probably didn't look at it to set it up right. So this time, um, instead of using that again before, I, f I need to figure out all the little tricks on my camera and how they work so that way I can get filming and like start getting you guys a little bit closer. But other than that, that is the end of this video. Um, thank you all so much again for watching. Um, and thank you for those who are new to my channel or have been subscribed since day one. Thank you so much. But um, as for, or as to like, try to avoid time wise and so that the videos aren't so long and they get straight to the point I am going to try to skip out my eyebrow part and then probably my full face just to jump into the eyeshadow and then at the end of the video you'll obviously see the overall look so I'm going to go ahead and start that probably like I said this week if I can and I do want to make sure that you guys are enjoying videos that way versus a long way and you guys can also just always leave comments on the comment box email me let me know if you guys have any looks you guys want me to try I am going to be doing a glitter glam look Thank you guys again so much for subscribing and liking my videos. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you and to update you guys on my products. Um, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thanks!